Hey guys, what's up? Uh, another iPad camera video for you, but uh, I wanted to do a quick review on the first handgun that I purchased, and I'll do another one. I'll do back to back reviews on, on two Glocks, and um, this is a Glock 30, and it is safety checked. Um, actually, this is how I keep my gun, and I'll make this a cool review, um, not a review, but kind of a uh, tips on how to keep and store your firearms if you have children. Um, I have some pretty, I think, innovative um, ideas and ways that I like to do things. Um, look at me, I'm talking about this like I've been doing this forever. Um, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm really safety conscious. This also has a streamlight, which was really inexpensive. I think it was something like 30 or $40. I don't, don't remember how much. Um, pretty good light. See, um, you look right there, the screw, um, you're supposed to either hand tighten this or use a coin, and, um, I used a screwdriver and now it's stuck on there, I need to get it out with like a band, with a rubber band or something like that, and it'll come off if I ever want to carry this, um, which I might during the winter months, um, put the piece of paper down, it's a cheap way of doing a little contrast, because on top of this it was black on black and... That's never good. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to get it for that. Um, so, yep, these are a uh, massive fail. Uh, these are um, Golden Saber Remington. And um, nice little hollow point bullet there. That's what I have as my home defense gun, hence the light. Um, it is in a Fort Knox. Um, Push button combination safe um, just above my um, my bureau in the bedroom, and I have that. Um, as you saw it in the beginning, the uh, the slide was locked back, and the ammunition is right next to it in the magazine. So God forbid anything happens, it's just a matter of putting a magazine in, putting the uh, slide forward, and I'm ready to go. So instead of having a loaded gun in my house, um, even if it is in a safe high up and I have small children who really can't get to it, kids will surprise you. Um, so I, I just thought that was worth mentioning. Um, it's kind of crazy about the way I keep my guns, and I do plan on, on gun proofing my children rather than child proofing my gun. Um, but gun proofing my children, it was actually a book that my father read that I bought. And I might actually do a review on that because I wasn't all that happy with it. Um, Most of the information could have been said in a couple of paragraphs, honestly. I like a lot of his stuff, but the book was, you know, it's out of print now, I think, but it wasn't all that great. Um, I did get some ideas, though. Um, helping your kids clean the gun. I might actually do a video on that. Helping your kids clean the gun when, they get, when they're mature enough. Not making it a forbidden fruit. Um, actually, Nut and Fancy, those of you who watch him, um, he's got great videos, great channel. He's got a video on that about how, as he puts it, making a gun as common as a fork on the table, which I, I always liked, and I, I use that analogy quite often. Um, saw my messy floor there. Uh, but anyway, back to the gun. Um, I've had one slight issue with this, and I think everybody has had with the Gen 4 Glocks of all all calibers, um, and that is brass being shot in your face and on your head. I haven't had much problems with that, many problems I should say. Um, I did get hit in the head maybe, you know, five times while shooting maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty rounds. It's technically a malfunction, but I don't think that it's a, that big of a deal. Um, it, it can be a little painful. I had one hit me right on the top of the head, and it wasn't pleasant, but um, I don't think it's anything to write home about. A lot of people were really upset about it, and I tested the uh, firearm again, and I got hit in the head maybe once. Actually, not even in the head. It kind of went over my head. Um, I don't think it's worth sending it in and paying the 
30 however many dollars with insurance to send it back to Glock to have them look at it. And from what I understand, you know, they might test fire it a couple of times and if they don't see anything right away, they'll just send it right back to you. Um, so, but it's a very accurate, doesn't kick very much, 45 ACP. Um, it, again, it's a, it's a baby Glock and 45 and it comes with a light rail, which is really, really good. It's an excellent um, all-around gun. For those of you who live in states like California, New York, uh, New Jersey, Massachusetts, the list goes on, um, where it's difficult to get a gun uh, all the time. It's not that difficult here in New York, and the reason I bought this was I, I saw the Nut and Fancy review on it, and he talks about how it's a great gun if you can only have one gun. It's great. If you want to carry it, it's, you can definitely carry it. It's light enough. It's a, it's a little hit on the husky side, but it is a forty five. It's got plenty of firepower. It's got 10 plus 1, um, and that's a lot for a forty five. Um, again, it has a light rail, so you can have it as a home defense gun. And um, there, there are a lot of... It's a very versatile gun. Um, and again, that's why I bought it, because I thought it would be a lot more difficult to buy more guns um, down the line, which I later found out it's, it's a pain in the butt more than anything, but um, it's not difficult or impossible. It's, it's actually, um, I've, I'm on my third gun, my third handgun, I should, I should clarify. Um, long guns is not a problem here, we just, we don't need to register them or anything. Um, so... Yeah, again, very accurate, semi-reliable. I, I, in my book, I give it an A minus. Um, this is turning out to be a terrible review, but I'm not going to redo it. Uh, <laughs> the sight picture is actually pretty good. Take a look at that. Let actually the black contrast might be a little better. It's it's a nice sight picture, um, and very easy to clean, like all Glocks. Um, you know, those of you who are watching this video probably already know how to take it down. Um, just, I'm working with one hand here, so. Again, it was safety checked, but dry fire it. You want to hold it like this. Bring it back slightly. Like that. Just kind of flex your hand. And see that? Those little... Back into the light. Those little uh, tab things there. Um, you actually bring those down with your nails, both at the same time, and you slide the, the slide forward, and everything comes apart and comes apart in three pieces. Um, so you have your, your recoil spring, your barrel, and your slide, and you just clean all that out, and you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, my review of the Glock 30. Excellent gun. It gets again an A minus for the slight malfunction of the brass going places it shouldn't be going, and um, that's it. Thanks, guys.